Hi guys, today I'm doing a comparison video over my this three new purchase wallet. This is from Dior, which is in lambskin, the biggest among all, but they are all mini wallets compact. And then this is my new Zoe wallet, which is comparable with um, Victorine, but this is smaller size of Victorine, which I call it the baby Victorine. And this is the new Prada. So these two are brand new styles and it's comparable with Chanel. If you know that Chanel has this particular one sided with coins, another side with some compartments. So this is that. So I'm just getting into like what fits and approximately what how are the sizing like so let's get started with this whereby we're all familiar with victorine wallets so this is the baby zoe this is a victorine which i'll do a quick size comparison is approximately this big so it's like much smaller than the victorine wallet all right and then comparing this with a key clay a clay sorry so in terms of length and width here you go and it's even shorter than a clay so you can imagine how tiny is this baby and if you're comparing this with a regular clay that everybody has I mean a lot of you guys hey, sorry comparing the wrong stuff I'm sorry so it's this which is like that so this is approximately the size. So this is something, I, I mean, it's like a little baby, baby size of a Victorine. So it's very cute. And if you're putting it into the palm size, this is as good as a palm size. That's what I would say. Okay, so let's get to what's this um, about. So it comes with the Rose Ballerine um, cuff um, leather with the pink stitching, gold hardware. And I like it because it's gold hardware. And this is the canvas and then it's a one-piece canvas Louis Vuitton this way and then right behind its interior is the rose ballerine color which is a pocket I would say at the moment it's, it fits one card not two if two it probably would be very ugly and you know, it's like very loose over here so I don't think so and right here it says um, Louis Vuitton made in France so there is like one two compartment one two compartment so total there are four this is not a compartment right here and there's one roomy cash compartment so we're going to three folds the notes that's for sure i like this main thing besides the small the main feature that i like is actually the zip which is a metal hardware instead of the leather tab which i dislike from rosalie and victorine so you look at it i mean it's small so it's pretty limited I have a coin inside okay that's a change so um yeah so i have used this for like a day and i do like it there's pros and cons that i've already noticed which i'll come to that in terms of this i'm just doing an introductory first so this would be the um comparing with my dior dior is slightly taller if you can see but in terms of like the length is about the same but Dior is slightly taller. The width definitely Dior is thicker, but I would say Dior is very comfortable because of the lambskin. It has a tassel of a pale gold, champagne gold, removable, you know, little um, design, I think. So it's a very roomy compartment, very soft. It opens much wider than that first of all that is canvas is brand new but even though it's like worn i don't foresee that it's going to be as roomy because it's pretty limited in terms of um the width here like that as compared with this one and this is already very soft it's going to get softer even so pro and cons to it again and then you snap it and you open this way your two card slots are here, two card slots are here. You have extra two slots right here, very roomy. And there is no slot here and no slot here. So one cash compartment here. And you snap it close like that. So that's how it looks like. And forgot to mention there is a back pocket right here. You can I can already fit two cards, but I probably would just do one because I do not like to overstretch my things. And lastly, comparing with the Victorine, this 
guy is taller than this guy, but this guy is shorter than my Louis Vuitton, if you can see. So the LV is even taller. The width is about the same because I believe that they need to be able to fit a card. So these are the basic size that you need to fit to fit a credit card. So they can't go anything shorter than that in terms of the length, but height they can. So this is shorter if you can see. So it's really, really compact and mini in terms of a palm size. It's really compact if you compare this with this. Length is about the same, it's just like, but it's like really cute. It's about the height, just slightly taller than this, slightly taller than this. So it's very cute. So it comes with one roomy compartment. Same thing, it opens wide like that. But again, if you really fill up with full of coins, question is how well can you close it? And then it comes nothing. It says Prada, made in Italy. And that's where the cold glazing is. Pretty nice and clean. And one roomy compartment with three card slots right there. You can probably double to triple them. I won't do so. Probably I'll just have one slot. And maybe it's very worn already. I may consider two slots. But at the moment, just one. So let's get started with the popular one, which is the Victor Meme. Uh, sorry, this is called the Zoe. I'm sorry. I always call this the Victor Meme. So let's have some cards in. I've got a couple of cards here. And I know that not all can fit. So I'll use my Chanel cards, you know, and some whatever cards that I have here. It's much more than enough. So Chanel cards, I have like one card here. I'm not going to overstretch them because it's very brand new, it's very stiff. And so I have one card in front. Okay, let me have the Chanel card right here so you can see it more prominent in color. And one card, one, one. Behind, I can slot. Let's say I try two. So, two cards behind. Okay. Another two cards right here. So. Alright. Okay, it's a little stiff. And I feel the bulge. And if I close it, no problem. But that is because I have no coins and no card behind. So let's try with one card behind. Okay, I feel the stretch already. I wouldn't want to put in another. I could, but I just do not want to stretch it. So if you want to know if you could, you could have one more, no problem. And I would say that you could probably have one more here. This is rather tight. You probably can't, you have a hard time um, shuffling one more. So there's three on this side. You may add one more on this side because it's roomy. One to two. So you can have like three, another two will be five, and this would be three for a start. But if you really want it out, probably you can add more. So cash, I think it's needless to say if you don't bring like tons of cash. I have about. Um, Eight pieces of cash right here. I'll just put them in like that. And I close it, zip it up. No problem. But you can see that it's like tilting upwards a little because I realized that it actually tilts. But not the fault of this actually, if you really understand the wallet. I was looking at it. It's actually the wallet is slanting downwards, if you can see. This side is fatter. This side is slimmer. Reason because the cards are slot in this way, that's one. But I would say that the zipper and the leather, because here I have the gazat, so it actually um, have you know more thickness over here as compared with this one. You don't, it's just one glazing. So therefore, this part will be slimmer and this part will be chubbier. So that's why you have it loop sided like that. If you get what I mean. So, um, yeah, but because um, the Victorine wallet is actually, you know, both sides is about the same. So you don't have too much of a big problem. But this, you would have it very obvious that this is slanting up. And if you have coins, let's try. So I have four coins here. I put in the basic four coins first, right inside. As you can see. 
and let's max it up a little bit more I mean another two big ones and another two small ones so I'm not maxing it up it's just that I that's all the coins I have at the moment I'm sorry so um, yeah so it's pretty filled anyway so I tried closing it snug it no problem very compact but if you can see if I do a quick one it's like this inch out and this is like tugging out it gets a bit odd you know loop sided so I just have to simply just push it up even up a little bit I mean that solved the problem but that's how you look you can see a little bit of a bulge here and um, generally it's fine I think it's just a chubby and here you can already see the bulge can you see the square thing border that's where the card is you can already see it's bulging a little right here leather is fine it looks rather durable if you I didn't try to scratch it but it feels fine so far that is rather durable so I think this is honestly the max it can go for a start if you use it for two three months if it softens it's you know you can hold a little bit more but in terms of coins I think that's about it try not to max it too much you have problem accept, um, assessing it anyway and you would always have to shake it to you know even out a little bit so that it's a bit flatter then you close it instead of like all the coins running to one side and it's like about over here so cash I think is not much of a problem if you're not like carrying 30 50 notes I think up to 10 15 notes I don't think there's a problem here but it's the cards so for a start I would say that now I have three I have three on these sides but three for a start I think is the max because you don't forget you have to allow some room for the coins they are sharing the same side you know so this one you can probably max out with another two but it will be a very tight stretch I won't try it for you I'm sorry because I do not want to stretch my wallet like that so um, that's what you can expect from this wallet so and don't forget behind I would have like one particular card extra so um, normally if you are doing some trouble cards or anything you can actually put it over here and you can actually tap and go so it's very convenient just tap it and victory in the wallet don't have that so this is very very convenient so I think this is a great seller because it allows people with quick access to their usual credit cards and if you can see it loosened a little already I feel a little bit softer as compared with just now so good and bad thing if it's too loose cards may fall out so that's why I do not stretch my slots too much I try to keep them like one slot uh, one per slot if the roomier ones inside maybe two but anything outside I only have one because I do not stretch them so that cards do not fall out it's more secure so total I have about two big ones and I have four mediums and two small change right here so that's it and I would say if you can see it's very decent most of you guys as I believe do not carry too much cash or you guys always have a wallet a card holder with another coin purse if you are doing a big heavy coins I suggest you use a coin purse do not have this stuff with coins because you will have this like really out of shape and pretty hard to close it so let's go up the volume in terms of the sorry let's go down to this one so um, let's start with Prada so it's very cute it's shorter than this one so again the length is about the same but it's shorter so this is the part you can see about half an inch three quarter inch about there so um, let's start filling up with the notes same thing I have about eight notes here and then let's start filling up with the cards so I have one very easy I can feel the easiness of having it in two and three so I have these three cards and I do feel the tightness already in closing I do have to maneuver a little bit and it's look at the shape it's oh my god the cards are like being bent 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 I mean this is not so bad this is the one that is like really bad so if it's me what I would okay let's try it with the coins first so I have my two coins another two coins two bigger ones 
and my two mini ones right there so same exactly the same and if you can see the bulge here it's like really bulgy and I try to close it I could close but the whole thing is like so thick oh yes I remember why I do not like the Chanel one because it turned out to be like that you see the whole thing is like so ugly and it's a chunk but the price point this is like half or less than half of the price of the Chanel so I don't mind to get this because it's not as expensive pricey as Chanel but Chanel I know that I will never use it so there's no point to waste the money and get it at all so um there is one slot over here but I do not know how you're gonna slot your things with the whole mess and it's very ugly so I don't like it this way you know it's very compact it's very good but I would say that if it remove the coins you keep it to the minimal like this you know, little, little change that doesn't bulge out is much better. It feels that, but you can see the pool over here is resulted by the card. So let's try removing this card, which I was mentioning that it bothers the most. So I'm left with the center section and the other side. It's much better, but I can still feel the pool. You can still see the pool. So let's try to add back those four coins, the bigger coins that I have, and see how does it feel. It's a little better, but it look I feel a little better. It's not as stretched, a little better, but still, ugh, you know. But if you want something that's really small, but I don't say this is very compact because it's very chubby, it's very, very thick and yeah so but it's a good thing that they do have an option but if you have i only have like one card two card some cash some coins is not a lot whereby this i have like six cards inside remember three and three and i have like one so total there was seven over here to begin with it's not as bad there's no bulge this one is only like two cards some cash same amount same amount of coins and I'm having this very bad bulge already. I can feel this. It chunk up the whole thing. So let's try if it's without the cards. Oh, I remove another card from here, okay? So there's only one card here. So this is much better. This feels much better. But who's going to bring like one card out? I don't know. So, and if you can see now, I have this little dent right here already. Can you see this little hump, this little dent right here? It's been just created. It was flat just now, but because of inserting the card, it folds the leather and it's already creating such dents. So, not too good. Yeah. So, if I removed all cards and I just have some cash. It does affect the leather a little. Not as bad, but... I would say it's fine, but it's already chunky to begin with. But just that with all the coins and everything, there's nothing better. It's definitely flatter without the coins now. So if you are planning, I mean, to... I'm not sure what else can you use for this one. Let's try to fit a card. You may, but it's rather tight. I can't really close it. I can't really push all the way down. That's the max. And I can't close it if you can see the button doesn't reach the hole. So I can't close it. So nope, you can't use this for card. Let's try the front gazette. I can't even insert it. So no. So this can fit a card. Yes, one card. Very tight. But that is when it's empty. If it's filled with coins and the stuff that you have, I don't think you have a chance to use this. But again, this is brand new leather. Over time, it will stretch and soften. Things may change, so I don't want to give it like a very bad verdict of it, but I would say that for a start, it's very difficult to use and I don't enjoy it. But because for the start, it's already difficult, it, does, it doesn't draw me to it, so I may not even stretch it, but let's just see. So this is the Dior one, and Dior is taller, same length, but taller than my 
Zoe. So, but because by nature this is lamb, so the thing is, this is full leather. This is canvas with leather. This is a lambskin, and it's very pretty. So let's try to fill things up again. Let's start with the cash right here. And I have four cards here, right? So let's start with one, two, and I have this three, four, so four in the compartments. I have one slot here, one slot here, nothing here, and I do have a back pocket here. So the difference is that the this wallet have like one slot like that and the back pocket. So extra, this have extra um, one more card slot as compared with this one. So let me just start fair with um, two, I have two cards here. So let me just have that in right at the back here. And I have another two cards right here. And let's just have it right this side. I feel that's easy. First of all, it's lambskin is very soft. I feel that I can add in one more, but again, I do not want, which I think is the max for me. This one, I can add in two to three more. It's very comfortable. Let's try. Okay, let's um, stick it to this first and let me have my coins in. I add the same four coins of the medium size, with the two big ones. And the two small ones. Where is my another small one? Um, I lost one. I do not know where is it. Okay, so I'm short of one, but yeah. Could it be inside here? Yes, it was. It was here. Okay, so. So. This is how it holds the coin. I definitely can double up this particular um, amount that I have. So now I have like 8 pieces. I can probably have to 10 or 12 pieces. So let me close this and shake a little so it's flattened. But you can see a little bit of a pouch. You know, this, the odd shape. This part is the dent. And then I close it. So right behind, let me add one more card. That's it. So, very comfortable. I don't feel too much of a stretch. I feel full, but I don't feel like a very bad stretch. I can definitely add more notes. I can definitely add... Let's try the two more cuts that I mentioned over here. These two. So, I'll put it behind. Very easy. Very, very easy. I can probably add another even one or two. I'm not going to do that. Sorry, I don't want to overstretch my wallet again. So I now have four cards inside behind, two here. I have two cards behind, two in front, and I have cash. And I do have one more card behind. So this is a bit of a tight fit. I wouldn't want to try another one. So in total, I have like six on this side, four on this side, which makes ten. And I have one more behind. Same thing, you can tap and go. Very easy. And the lens skin for this, I compared with Chanel, I find that this is much more durable. I've used this for two days since I've bought it. And then I bought this, so I changed into this. So um, it's I, I did accidentally, you know, scratch a little bit or pull my card in a certain way that it would result some scratch or some marks on the leather which happens to my Chanel lambskins which that's why I don't buy lambskins but it doesn't happen to this I do not have any like scratch marks but if you have like any hardware that dents the leather then maybe you create a little dent but in terms of like the you know when you remove the cards and then a little bit of a scratch kind of thing you don't get that sorry I dropped my camera again but I'm not going to refilm it this way so okay sorry about that so um yeah so this is the um i would say this is a very good wallet if you ask me among these three i would say that if you're going for a fast free and you want something that really really compact this is definitely the one because it's very small even in terms of the size 
and this side is canvas so if you are very cautious you can actually have this facing the um the back lining interior of the bag so that it doesn't um scratch with other items in your bag whereby um yeah so because this is canvas you see but if you are just um like me you are going for some comfort i think that this is very good because it's not as bad as chanel lambskin it's very durable and it's pretty pretty it's very low key and you get all the things you need and i i can fill in more than what this can fit you can fit but probably the shape you know this and that the flaring up here and there you do get that a little of here but not that obvious because it's lambskin you get a little bit of a dent but because of the whole design you don't feel much of it so I find, and in terms of gripping it, this is very comfortable. But because it's lambskin, and you're, if you're every day going to be accessing the money and the whatever thing in the wallet too much, this will be a problem, you know. Because this is lambskin, this is where the button snaps. You have a dent over here with, you know, constant pressing onto the leather. So this is something that you may want to consider. But like, I mean, unlike this one, whereby you, you it, it's rather fast free because it's... But again, you're talking about the metal scratch the hardware so um yep that's it so oh sorry just now i think i've accidentally placed the zoom and unzoom so it was like blurred so yeah that's the main reason that i feel that um i mean it's a 50 50 that really depends on your lifestyle and your preference and um i really like this one if you ask me to choose either one I would go for the Dior. Yes, after trying all of them, I would say that this is very comfortable to hold, to use. It's not that delicate as I imagine, and therefore I feel that I can use it as a daily basis. It does fit. In fact, I do not need so many cuts. If you know me, I only bring like three to five cuts maximum. I can do two cuts even on some days. So, um,. Yeah, so that's why this is like too many to offer for me. And it's much more than enough than what I need. So, um, yeah. And what makes me um, choose this because I'm a very coin person. I have lots of change and this offers the best in terms of like change. So if you're a person who wants more space for change, you want some luxury feel and fast free, and you do not mind in the long run that this will dent in because you're constantly push the button then i think this is a good for a goal yeah it has a, every feature that this has in fact it's it offers better and the dangles just make it so cute and it's like very comfortable to hold and carry i really like it but if you want something like to be fast free you know in terms of the durability and you know throwing in and out of the bag the dirt whatsoever but again this is rose ballerine and if there is a pen mark or if, you know, there's certain scratch. I never tried, you know, uh, something sharp. I don't know. This may be very obvious and it's a good and a bad thing. I have never tried, so I can't answer you whether will it be, you know, what's, how's it like. But if it's inside, I think that's not a problem. This is meant to be very durable leather. But this one, because it's a smooth leather, I don't know. Canvas, there's nothing to worry about. But I do find that there will be limitations in terms of the coins. Unless you do not mind the odd shapes, the bulginess if you have excessive coins. But if you do mind, then this may be a problem. But I think that this is a very practical one also. Very compact, very good. This one I find is very bulky. It may stretch over time. Yeah, but it's, it's very cute. So if you are just doing light and then you want something that have an easy access and you do not mind any, you know, folds inside of your leather i think this is very very compact it's very cute rather pretty but i thought that the designer could have thought better in terms of how the wallet may stretch but i think it's yeah but in terms of leather this is very durable to throw around so if you want something that's very durable and fast free i think prada always holds the name up pretty fine and then well there are cases of course yeah so that's that so you can make your own decisions of which do you prefer and that depends on your lifestyle and that depends on how do you 
how often you use them and how do you wear them so yeah so that's it anything you can leave it in the comment box below and thank you guys for watching and have a good one bye